Not every as seen on TV product is a waste of money, but how would you really know that unless you try them yourself, or better yet, we try them for you. Today we're going to take a gander at some of the many egg-related gadgets invented to solve problems that may or may not exist. But not only are you going to get expert reviews, but we'll also crack open some sweet alternatives. The egg extractor is an as-seen-on-TV product that claims to peel hard-boiled eggs instantly and perfectly every time, all without the hassle of peeling them by hand. The packaging says it's easy as one, two, three. Tap the top of the egg, place vertically in the holder, and press down on the egg extractor. Sounds easy, right? Well, so is peeling an egg by itself. At the tip of the egg, there's a small chamber of air called the air cell. Inside the egg extractor, pressure forces air from the air cell and causes the shell to separate from the egg. This is essentially the same concept we covered in a Kitchen Tricks video where we showed you how to force an egg out of the shell with just the power of your lungs. However, this invention would prevent people from consuming your saliva, so it does have that going for it. Let's open up the box and see for ourselves how magical this product really is. It comes with a plastic accordion looking extractor, a solid base that has three legs, and an egg shell piercer built into it. Oh, there's also an extraction pamphlet that contains 101 recipes for eggs, of course. Once you've boiled some eggs, drained the hot water, and cooled them off, you're ready for the ultimate test. Start by placing the small end of the egg over the piercer on the egg extractor base, and be sure to pierce through the inner layer of skin between the shell and the white. Now crack the large end by tapping on a hard surface a few times. Make sure you fully crack the large end of the egg. We went as far as to remove a small portion of the egg shell like you would with the kitchen trick shown. Place the egg upright in the base and then cover with the egg extractor. Instructions say to crisscross your hands over the top and give it one good fast push. Surprisingly, it worked on our very first attempt. Maybe a little less pressure would have removed the shell even smoother. On our second attempt, the results were similar but left a little shell on the egg. Our third attempt left even more egg shell on the egg itself. It's getting worse each time. Our fourth and final attempt, yes, we had to stop somewhere, not only blasted off the egg shell, but half the egg as well. Our promising start ended rather poorly. This would probably explain the 1.9 out of 5 stars rating online. So go ahead and put your money back in your wallet. Let's just show you a simpler method that actually takes far less time and no tools at all. Place a hard-boiled egg firmly in your hand on its side and crack it onto a hard surface. Then roll it across the surface and pull off the remains, preferably under cold water. That's it. Don't overthink it. There's a number of other quick and simple ways to unpeel a hard-boiled egg, but none are difficult enough to warrant purchasing an egg extractor for $8 to $10. If you do get sucked into buying this product, though, at least you'll have 101 ways to prepare hard-boiled eggs, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty good. And if you're really lucky, yours will include a bonus egg slicer like ours did. This little gadget could actually come in handy with some fruits and vegetables, too. Alright, speaking of hard-boiled eggs, here's another product that plays off the idea that peeling eggs is such a hassle. The Egglets infomercial claims to make hard-boiled eggs without the shell. Just crack open the egg into the Egglets pod, twist on the top, and boil on your stovetop in just a few minutes. It says it's as easy as crack, boil, and pop. No hassle, no mess. But is it really? We read some reviews beforehand, and one of the complaints is that it arrived in a cardboard box without original packaging. We bought ours in stores, and it certainly was packaged well, perhaps a little too well. Another complaint was that it contained four egglets instead of the six advertised online, and also arrived without any instructions. Now, there are several off-brand versions of gadgets like this, and that's likely the cause of the confusion here. The included booklet not only had cooking instructions, but also eight easy and fun recipes, as well as cooking times based on your type of stove and what type of boiled or scrambled eggs that you want to make. Each non-stick silicone container is bendable at the base and comes with a hard plastic twist-off lid. Inside each container, there's a warning note that reminds you to use caution and wash with warm, soapy water before using. You start by filling a pot with enough water that the egglets don't touch the bottom, about three to four inches high. While you're waiting for the water to heat up to a rolling boil over high heat on your stovetop, you thoroughly coat the entire inside with oil. If using cooking spray, add three short bursts to each cup and use your fingers to evenly distribute it. This step is important because one of the biggest complaints is that the eggs stick to the containers. But if you follow the directions, they won't. Next, fill each egglet up with the egg recipe of your choosing. You'll notice that one egg doesn't quite fill each container. If you want fuller looking eggs, you can use a baster and add extra egg whites to each egglet to top them off. 
Now close each lid by twisting it clockwise. Another complaint by some was that the threading was wrong. Our lids worked well, so just be sure to tighten it securely and avoid any spills. Once the water reaches a rolling boil, carefully grab each cup by the top loop of the lid and place each egglet inside the boiling water. They float in the water just like fishing bobbers, but we all float down here. <laughs> If you're adding a meat product, make sure it's fully cooked prior to adding your uncooked eggs. Because trust me, this is not the way you want to cook meat. Since we're using an electric stove and larger eggs, our cook time was actually 19 minutes, which is six minutes longer than the traditional method of boiling eggs. Once time is up, remove each egglet with tongs and place them in cold water to cool. Once they've chilled out a bit, remove the lid by twisting counterclockwise. Gently squeeze the silicone container and ease the egg out. The eggs don't appear to be as smooth as they would if they were cooked in their shell, but they still look okay. Now you can get fancy with your recipes like they show in the infomercial, but we kept it simple for basic testing purposes. Each egg seems to be cooked thoroughly, but they did feel a little spongy to the touch. Honestly, despite the negative reviews, we're satisfied enough with the results to give it three full stars, slightly higher than the 2.3 average rating. It does seem like extra work just to avoid peeling shells, and it didn't really save any time. In fact, it added some, but they can be made in advance and they're good when you're on the go. So we're kind of on the fence with this one, so we'll leave it up to your gut instincts if you want to spend 15 bucks or not. Ah, the Easy Egg Witch. What is that? <laughs> well, it's a microwave egg cooker that claims to cook eggs perfectly in just one minute. Once again, the packaging and infomercial says it's as easy as one, two, three. Just add an egg, microwave it, and get the perfect result in one minute. Sounds pretty simple, right? It also claims to be great for bagels, croissants, biscuits, and more. It works for just egg whites, too. I mean, why wouldn't it? This particular combo includes a set of two for 10 bucks. Let's unbox this thing and put it to the test. The packaging is pretty straightforward. The dome lids and non-stick bases are all packaged individually. It also includes a gourmet recipe guide. That seems to be a common motif now at this point, doesn't it? This could come in handy for you ambitious folks. The lid conveniently hooks into place and rests on the base nicely. It should be noted that these cookers are BPA free and the packaging and infomercial claim they're non-stick and easy to clean. Let's find out if that's true. Step one, crack an egg into the container and stir it with a fork to break the yolk. You can also add any desired fixings you want, but we're gonna keep it simple for this test. Since the egg only takes a minute to cook, we suggest you start toasting any bread before you microwave your eggs so that they're both done around the same time. If you follow one of the 15 recipes included and add any toppings, then more cooking time might be required. After your minute is up and your toast is ready, carefully remove the Easy Egg Witch container from the microwave. We noticed that the handle remained cool to the touch. Amazing. If you don't have time to let it cool down a bit, just be careful of any hot steam when removing the lid. If you don't spray the non-stick base beforehand, you may need to remove the egg with a spatula, but it seemed to slide right out with ease most of the time. You can dress up your breakfast sandwich however you want. When you compare it to the image on the packaging, it's not too shabby and really does work as advertised. Although muffins are pretty standard size, bagels and croissants can vary quite a bit so a little trial and error may be needed. The Easy Egg Witch can handle up to two eggs per container at once and only requires just a little more time to get fluffier results. All in all, we're satisfied with the results. The online reviews seem to reflect our overall satisfaction as well. These are pretty easy to clean by hand, but they're also a top rack dishwasher safe item, so you get that added convenience if you want it. You can make some of these ahead of time and package them up in sandwich bags for even easier breakfast on the go. Or just use both containers in the microwave at the same time and, you know, add a little time and keep an eye on them. Now, if you don't want to spend 10 bucks on this product, you can basically replicate it yourself with a bowl and a lid like we did and we previously reviewed the Eggtastic Ceramic Microwave Egg Cooker. Whew, results may vary, but hey, it's worth giving it a try. Considering how easy it can be to crack an egg open, this clever cracker gadget already feels like a gimmick before we even started testing it. But fortunately, it's cheap enough to take a risk at under five bucks and comes with a bonus clever egg scrambler. When unboxing, we discovered that the two items are packaged separately and each comes with their own instructions. Fantastic. The clever cracker, which was also my nickname in high school, includes a special detachable yolk catcher. The directions say to place an egg inside the cradle and ensure that both ends fit through the cradle securely. 
Lily. Seems to hold the egg in place pretty well. Next, bring the clever cracker over to a bowl or pan and squeeze the handle firmly until the egg cracks. We first tested this when cracking eggs for the egglet product, and the initial results were fairly weak. The shell certainly cracked, but it also shot egg white out the side and away from the intended container. After three more attempts, the egg finally cracked cleanly in half and the cradle held the shell in place. The built-in yolk catcher is a nice touch and seems to work well, but it completely relies on the cracker not breaking the yolk first, which it did at least once. If all goes well, the catcher secures the yolk and allows the egg whites to drain through. Although the clever cracker eventually worked, it's not dependable enough, in our opinion anyway. So while it is under $5, it should really only be purchased as a gag gift because in all honesty, it's kind of a ridiculous concept. As far as the extra super bonus clever scrambler goes, eh, it's pretty basic. First, you need to install two AA batteries and then close the unit back up by screwing clockwise. They couldn't be bothered with putting a squeezable tab in. While holding the unit in one hand, carefully lower any egg, bigger side down, onto the piercing needle and gently place the egg into the cup. Now turn the scrambler on by flipping the on-off switch upward. Now let it scramble for about 15 to 20 seconds. Afterwards, we gently lifted the egg off the needle and cracked it as you normally would. The first attempt was a complete and utter failure. The yolk never broke and nothing was scrambled at all. On the next attempt, we scrambled it for 30 seconds with similar results. By the fourth attempt, we followed a reviewer's tip to flip the egg upside down while scrambling. And guess what? The results were equally disappointing. If nothing else, the egg whites were scrambled, but the yolk was still untouched. Maybe we did something wrong here. I, I'm not sure. But nevertheless, this gadget is not very dependable and the piercer ended up bending with minimal pressure. It's as cheap as it looks and feels. Our initial feeling that these products were merely a gimmick is definitely confirmed. The customer reviews averaged 2.7 out of 5, which is surprising, but that's still with 44% giving a 1 star rating. Although 50% of the time the Clever Cooker worked every time, it's still a ridiculous toy and not necessarily a tool you want in your kitchen. The Clever Scrambler was an even bigger letdown, so save your allowance money and move on. If we had to choose, our favorite product was definitely the Easy Egg Witch. Links to all the products have been provided in the video description below if you're interested. There's also tons of other as seen on TV products out there, so let us know what we should put in our next test. Oh, and go ahead and click one of the videos on the screen if you would like to see more as seen on TV products reviewed by us. And occasionally we even show you how to make these items yourself. All right, that's all we got for you. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you real soon.